Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to another mod guide here on this channel. Today we'll take a closer look at the Ember Gun and ask whether the weapon is still playable despite the mods. Since mods came on the market, there has been a lot of discontent in the community. Of course, mods weren't necessary, and I still believe they weren't needed. A major criticism is that a large part of the equipment is no longer playable. In the first episode of our mod guide, we took a closer look at sniper weapons. Make sure you don't miss that episode. But is the Ember Gun really as useless as many believe? No, the Ember Gun is still playable. Just like sniper weapons, it just needs to be used a little differently. Let's first look at its effect on the mods. It shoots down single-layer shields relatively quickly. For example, playing it on an Eclipse allows you to outplay tanks relatively well due to the combination of the Ember Gun and Eclipse's agility. Multi-layer shields may require one or two more shots depending on their level, but are still manageable. A relatively good combination against multi-layer shields is to equip the Ember Gun on Nomad. Combining a shot with his chain dash damage often destroys multi-layer shields with just one attack. Of course, not everyone has an Eclipse or Nomad available. Therefore, they also work very well on Surge or Seeker. With the latter, a 30% damage bonus even applies when his ability is activated. So what generally needs to be done differently to play the Ember Gun effectively against mods? Keep your distance. Before the introduction of mods, you could just charge in and shoot everything to pieces at close range. That only works with Nomad against mods. Otherwise, thoughtful and tactical play is required. Fire a few shots from cover at a distance of 35-45 meters until the shield is destroyed. Then you can attack directly with everything you have. The footage in the background should illustrate what I mean. Of course, the Ember Gun, like sniper weapons, has been weakened. However, it is still playable, and you shouldn't abandon it if you enjoy playing with it. But what do you think? Do you play the Ember Gun against mods or not? Let me know in the comments. We'll see you in another video. And until then, take care.